Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Glad for you all to be tuning in. And to everyone, what's up? I hope that you're having a really good start of your week. And today I want to do my continuation of the lip swatches from the Juvia's Place, the Empress Lip Collection. Already I have reviewed four of the lip collections so if you have not seen those videos I highly encourage you to go and check those videos out and I promise they will be worth your while especially if you're interested in choosing certain colors from the collection so today I will be doing a lip swatch for not exactly four well I guess I should say yes for for you all, I am doing the lip swatch from the Juvia's The Empress Lip Collection on Candice. So Candice is, again, I would think more of a, a just straight up like nude color. More along the brown nude spectrum. Dye 2 was more of a peachy nude type spectrum. So this one was going to be just a brown nude. And... Here is the packaging for Candace. So you got Candace, you know, she got her ombre going on her lip, girl. I'm telling you, she's ready. She got the highlight, the contour, eyebrows, everything is just straight up ready for this whole entire look. Have you all looked at the art on Juvia's packaging? girlfriend is seriously she is doing it she's fire so the color you can see down here is what they're going to be the color of the lippy and she has an ombre lip again the same color is found in the tire up in the head um design or i should say hair design and then you turn the package into the side, you get to see what color the lippy is. And all the boxes are in accordance to the colors that are in the box. And then on the back, you get the description, you get the ingredients, information about the company on the back. So, yes. And this company is cruelty free paraben free and vegan so again i just love the artistic design that juvia's put on her packaging um i would love to know who the artist is it's just really really cool it's a beautiful packaging and inside of the packaging you get your two liquid lipsticks one in the matte finish and the other in the metallic finish. These are lip duos. They retail for $22, but Juvia's has them currently on sale for $20. Again, as I've said in my previous videos, when you buy the lip duos, you pretty much get... I almost about to say maybe one for free, but technically you get two for at the price of ten dollars. So I know the regular price of her other liquid lipsticks from the festival collections are priced at I want to think twelve dollars. So just think about if you bought these at the regular price of twenty two, it'll still be like you're getting them eleven dollar each plus tax um depending on what state you're in um but again this is good this is you know and i think when i really think about it companies should start well i know companies already create like lip duos trios and lip sets but this is really cool like to come up with um a standard like liquid lipstick so like a matte finish but have it come along the side of with another satin 
or another metallic or another lip gloss just together but I know you know again this lip duo is really you know they're really fantastic and if you're a matte girl then you get your matte in this box if you're a metallic girl you get your metallic in this box if you're not one or the other you know you can always come up with a way to gift it to a friend to your sibling like to your sister your cousins um your brother if your brother is into um makeup also to your your aunt your mom anybody this is basically you know a one for somebody if not both for you because i know there's some people who may prefer a certain finish over the other but it's a good way to you know share the love share um basically share it um just don't take it and just you know throw it to the side and never use it you know gift your makeup to other individuals in your life you know or even just a stranger you know if you don't know anybody that you would want to give this to and you may be like hey you know I have this would you like it you know you could be chilling on a bus and if a regular person you see on a regular and you know that makeup is always snatched the house and you may want to be like hey I want to give this person this this uh, liquid lipstick I'm a person and I like both I like the metallic and the matte finish but the metallics in this lip collections are really pretty they're you could really use them for all occasions you probably couldn't wear it to work you know because I don't think the people at work would be ready for that However, if you like you're going out in the day or you're going out for the evening or night to a party, to an event, um, anywhere that's special, you could do this. And you just want a pop of color. You want to, when the lights hit your lips and it's shimmering all over the place. Yes, by all means, throw that metallic on your lips. Step your lip game up. I'm always trying to step my lip game up. Like, I have tons of lippies. Like, tons. But don't stop me from buying or wanting more. So here's the mat. This again, this is what the packaging looks like. And you have the prints along the top. And then you have Juvia's Place. You have Juvia's Place name along the packaging on the tube. This is what the color looks like. You have the label at the bottom of the tube to let you know what the name is. And then I always say shake up your liquid lipstick too to just move it around before you apply it. Kind of move the wand around in the tube. Just to warm up the color, the pigment. So, this is what the color looks like on a doe foot. So, like a nice, almost like a taupey brown, but we'll see how it looks on my lip. So, I'm going in for the dive. Yeah, so, so far it is quite nude. But you really don't see the true color till it completely dries down. So 
which these lippies do dry down really quick. So that is the first layer. Yes. So if you have my skin tone, you want to be careful. You may want to line your lips, you know, add like a brown lip liner along the outline of your lips, so maybe color it in. But I'm someone I really don't always use lip liners to line my lips, especially to bring out colors such as this on my lips. I usually just rock it like it is and just be like, whatever, you know, because that's how you get the true pigmentation. But I know for some of those, if this color may wash you out. And even with me, it kind of washes me out. Uh, because it's really taupey. And I think this is more of a... I think a more of a color that would suit a fair... Maybe like a fair tone person. Uh, I think from fair to medium tone. And if you're um, my tone or um, tones darker for me or more of a deeper skin tone then most likely you'll have to wear a lip liner or it may just completely wash you out but you never know until you wear it and personally I like it just like this I don't mind it without a lip liner you know I know some people feel like this color reminds them of certain things but you know what? You think about it, and if you think about the 80s and, you know, certain eras of makeup where I, I remember, like, looking in magazines, like, when I was growing up and seeing models wear certain colors that was not, you know, always, um, I guess, politically correct to your skin tone. It was a little bit of tones way lighter. So, you know, it's to each, you know, to each their own, right? Is that the right way to say it? To each your own, to each their own. Um, it depends on the person. It depends on what you're looking for. I personally don't mind it. It kind of reminds me, like, um, I've never tried um, Jeffree Star's, like, Celebrity Skin. And what's the other he has? Um... There's other, like, other brownie news that he has, like, Celebrity Skin, and there's one more. I can't even think of it for for whatever reason. I can't think of it, but it kind of reminds me of that tone, like, really, like, we all have seen news this color, but again, every new is signature to that person's brand, like, this new is signature to Juvia's Place brand. Um, Jeffrey's nudist signature to his brand. Um, anybody that you could think of, like LA Splash, has a nude that is signature to their brand. Like every brand new, and even if it may look similar, or as you would say, is a dupe, every color is signature to that brand. They may be the exact same undertone, they may be a smidge off of the undertone but again i don't know it may sound like i'm going off topic it's signature to that brand so i like it like this now that it has completely dried down i will have no problem going in public with this like this and even though my skin tone is much darker in comparison to this it makes the color look more pale on my lips but i will wear it like not bother, will not care, because, you know, you should just wear it the way you want, and if you know you're someone like, no, girl, I, uh -uh, I'll have to throw a brown liner pencil around my lips, I just couldn't do it, then by all means, you know, do what you know that you normally do and feel comfortable, um, because I'm not here to pressure anybody, I just want to share in the love and have fun with makeup. But, you know, I do think this probably is more of a new for maybe more fair skin 
um, individuals out there, fair skin to medium, maybe even olive tone. But again, it doesn't look bad on me. So that is the mat. I have been very interested and very, you know, very curious about Julius Place mats because, uh, like I said, I've already swatched at least four of them, and all of them, like with with one layer, it was opaque except for Mina. Mina took me three layers to apply to completely make it opaque. But the color is stunning. That's why on my last video I still gave it a high rating because I think the color is beautiful. And even though there was some little passion is there, you can still go back in and layer the color. It's buildable. You can still build up that color on your layer on your lips. So it's not just like every every layer you keep putting on it disappears, disappears. You just build upon it and if it stays, then it's a workable lippy so it's not something just like oh not bother but you know again it's to everyone's preference i like to work with the makeup that i get i try to really give it some time give it some tries before i just decide to say hey this is not for me but you know you have to do what's right for you so again going back to this liquid lipstick this is the matte and candice so this is what it looks like i like it could it go with this makeup maybe um if i was wearing a neutral eye or a bronzy eye this color would really probably make that really contrast with the dark and the light because when i wear bronze and golds and different shadow colors like that I like to do it in a kind of a smoky, bold kind of way. Um, sometimes I do it in a like more of a lighter, neutral um, type of way if I'm just like, just quickly got to go somewhere or I don't feel like going into emphasis with my makeup, eyeshadow look, I'll just stay lighter. But I love color. I love color. Even if it's neutral colors, I like those colors that just pop. And really bring attention to your your overall your eyes you know because there's certain shadows that brings out like your face and your you know your cheek scratches everything that just comes together but again going back to this look lipstick I will wear it I will not line it because it's just that right just that right touch of um, nude if it was just a little bit of smidge a little bit darker then it would be perfect it would be completely new with my um almost like the the pigmentation to my lips but it just it gives a just like a light i would say like a light um taupey nude shade and i guarantee you if you just wear these colors like they are it would become a trend. It would become where people be like, oh, you know, this is normal to wear it like that. But I think a lot of us can get very um, sometimes self-conscious if someone's going to look at us and, you know, judge us uh, with the way we have our lips. We will, you know, do what we have to do to not get the looks, get the comments. But I say by all means, like I say, Enjoy what you do and do what you do. Enjoy what you do and do what you do. So, again, it dries down nicely. You don't need to layer another color, but I'll just do it for the humor and see what it will look like if you build it to a second. You just want to be careful with these because, again, if you build too much, it would not make it look as nice. So I'm just going to go in with the second layer and that's it just to show you.
So that's the second layer. It actually looks better, I think, with one layer on me. Because the more you build, especially if it's a color that already is in contrast to your skin tone, the more that you build, the more that it will come across a little bit too heavy and may come across too strong against your skin tone. So if you're going to wear a color that is way lighter than your skin tone, uh, just stay very light with it. And yeah, so that's what I would do. I would not overly do a lighter shade that is not exact to your skin tone or deeper. Because deeper the tone, like if this color was deeper to my tone, then it would just look like a complete new, almost like I'm not wearing anything on my lips. But since it has more of that lighter, like tone to it, like a lighter undertone, like a lighter brown tone to it, then it can make my lips look, you know, um, what's the word, like ashy or washed out type. So you just want to be simple with it. And again, with Juvia's Place Mattes, except for Mina so far that I've tried, you only have to use one layer and you're good to go. So if you find yourself needing to reapply more, you know, just shake up your tube, uh, move your wand around inside the tube before you apply your color and see if that helps. So yeah, that is the mat. So we're going to go ahead and get started next with the metallic. But I like it. I would completely wear this just like it is and I would not worry. I would not worry at all, and I would just rock it like it is. Rock it, rock it, rock it, eh, 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 eh. Rock it, rock it, rock it like it is. Rock, rock, rock steady. Rock, 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 rock steady. I forgot to put my rings on. I had some rings that I was going to put on, and I don't even know what I did with them. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get back to the video and I'll come back with the metallic, 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 metallics. So let me stop playing. I'll be back in a second with, we're going to swatch the metallic. And if you have it at home and we'll just swatch it together, you can watch it while you're watching me and, you know, it'll be like we're, watch, we're swatching it together. So, I will be back. Okay, I am back to lip swatch the metallic version of Candice. So, this is what the color looks like in the packaging. It looks like a bronze color, like a just straight up neutral bronze but we shall see once me apply it to my lips and see if it changes to another tone other than what the package is showing so let's get started because you know I live for these metallic lips so here we go Mm-hmm. Straight up almost the color of my earrings.
got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. Oh, baby, yeah. I got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. Yeah, this is... Mm -hmm. I could totally see a monochromatic look with this lippy. A bronzy eye. Metallic. Bronzy lip. Bronzy highlight. Everything just bronze out gold. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's on the cooler side. It's almost like a champagne type of bronzy color. Almost have a platinum to it. So you see what I'm saying? Like some of these colors are very mysterious. Like when you're looking at this, you would think, oh wow, it's just a standard um would you say a standard bronze shimmer shade? But no, like you apply this, it's like a mixture. Like there's a mixture of champagne bronze and just like a cool type of gold type of color in it and again these these colors will vary depending on your skin tone you never know what you're going to get so you're on a on more of the fairer fairer skin tone spectrum this may be looking a little bit deeper to your complexion more gold you're somewhere in the middle to the medium to you know medium deep like in my spectrum it's going to look what it looks like on my face and in a deeper skin tone it's probably going to look like a straight gold like a beautiful like elegant gold but i'm living for you know who's ready for some gold lips for the spring 2018 who is ready for it for the summer? That should become a trend. Just everything gold. Gold lips, gold eyeshadows, gold highlighters, bronze, everything gold and bronze mix. Um, gold shirts, bronze shirts, bronze um, leggings, um, bronze watches, gold, every, all of just the mix of the metals. To become a trend silver metal gold metal bronze metal 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 rose gold all the metals just in your look from your shoes to your hair accessories to your eyelashes if you wear the falsies to your mascara your highlight even for your cheekbones, your blush, everything just liquid, metal, gold, bronze, silver, rose gold, all of it. But this color is beautiful. I will go out the house with this color on my lips and not care one bit who is looking, who is checking it out, who is side eyeing, who is snickering. I won't care. Because this gold is pretty. And it almost have this peachy tone to it. It's like a blend of taupey, peachy, like a mix of cool, a little bit of warm in there. But mostly on the cool spectrum. Just say yes. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Look. Metal. Metal is beautiful. Metal shine. Metal brings out skin tones. Metal is beautiful. And when you get the right kind of metal that looks good to your skin tone, whether it's the cool metal, the warm metal, or if you're a neutral type of person that you can wear either cool or warm metal, like how they say when you are wearing a necklace to see what color necklace matches well to your skin tone you look at the color of your veins if it's blue then you look well with the cool the silvers and if you have the green veins you look well with the warm 
the goals, or if it looks like it's somewhere in between, you're neutral. So same applies to, I think, with lippies, especially when you're wearing metallic, gold, bronze type of colors. But I'm living for it. It makes this makeup revolution highlight. Holla! Mm hmm Yes, I am living for it. Mm-hmm. 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 So I definitely like the color. I think it's stunning. I think it's beautiful. And you have a tan to dark skin. It's going to make your melanin pop scene and pop lock and drop it. You know, it's going to make your skin tone come out. And, you know, the melanin is already beautiful as it is. But melanin deep, tan, deepest tone, this color is beautiful. I can see this again on fair skin tone, like the fairest of the girls out here or guys who love wearing metallic lips. I can see you wearing it. But it's just, I feel like it would be more flattering for more of the deeper tones. But I definitely think a lighter skin tone could get away with it. What do y'all think? Would you rock it? Or would you wouldn't? Would you put it on your face? Or would you wouldn't? But like I said, I love metallic. I love mattes. I'm just becoming one of those liquid lip girl that likes all kind of finishes. I'm even into the lip glosses. But I like the opaque lip glosses versus the sheer ones because I like some color to my lips. I like satin lips. I like the mattes. I like the metallics. I like the liquid lipsticks. I know the game... The makeup game is going to step back and really get into back into the lipstick. I totally see that happening and the liquid lipstick may phase out. But hopefully it's here to stay because I like a good liquid lipstick because all you got to do is just apply that wand to your that wand to your lip and then you just go on with your day. With lipsticks, you got to pull out the tube and just kind of Finally, try to find a way to line your lip with the lipstick too, but with the doe foot wand, you can just line your lips perfectly and not worry about having to get your tissues. We we all been there, you know what I'm talking about. Get your tissues and line your lips to make sure the edges are clean. With the doe foot, you don't have to worry about that as much unless you go out of the, you know... If you go, <laughs> if you go out of balance, not out of balance, but out of the line, you know, then you have to worry about um, getting a tissue. Cause I do that, you know, go back and try to clean it up, or get your concealer and you know go around your lips and try to make it perfectly clean. But yeah, let's get into my final thoughts. So my final thoughts about the matte Juvia's place is that I do like this color on me as it is. I do think this is a particular color color that may look a little bit more appealing on someone with a more fair, fair to like medium skin tone. I could get away with it barely though. And I'm not quite sure how it would suit my sisters and brothers out there who would want to wear this color. Uh, you may want to line your lip with brown. You guys may have watched me and thought I should have lined my lip with a brown um, lip pencil. But I think it's cool. It's a cool tone type of shade. Just very neutral. But when it dries down, it has that cool taupe brown nude type of vibe going on with it. So I would totally go out the house with it on. Won't worry about it. And I definitely think this is a color that's going to be really particular. Like, you really have to be careful um, with what, you know, which way to go. But, of course, Juvia's Place has lip swatches, like photos of different shades of 
skin tones for each of her liquid lipsticks um, on her website. So you can also take a look at that too and kind of gauge where you may fit on that spectrum. But I like it. I will wear it. I would totally wear this. And again, this does remind me of some of the other, you know, well-known news that's out here on the market. But again, every company has their signature. So that's my thoughts on the matte. The metallic, I definitely like it. I wonder if you can wear her liquid lipsticks as an eyeliner because they do dry down. So if you know you're somebody out there who like, I don't like mattes or I don't like metallic finishes, maybe try wearing these like an eyeliner. You know, because we all know with Jeffree Star, there's people out there who actually uses his liquid lipsticks as eyeliners. So you can, you know, wing your eye look to the heavens, to the skies above with these liquid lipsticks make sure it's um is eye safe for you to be using it because like i said i'm all into finding multi-purpose of using products you know especially if you can use it for a different way why not you know makeup is supposed to be what fun just have a really good time and find different ways to be creative and you know just do fun things so I like it. I'll definitely leave the house with this goal. I have to go walking today, go exercising. So I'm definitely going to just leave the house like this. They'd be like, you know, people will probably look at me like, okay, why is she with all that makeup on her eyes? Or why is she, you know, got that lip going on? Why is she with all that blush and highlight? I don't care. And when I walk, I do sweat, but it's not like I'm profusely, what's the word, profusely, Perf profusely sweating with water all over my face, so I can pretty much get, <laughs> get around and do my do and still be snatched a half while I'm walking, you know, maybe I give somebody some inspiration, girl, why they are like, running or looking around or playing b-ball whatever you know a girl gotta do what she gotta do I, i'm feeling this look too much today to just wash it all as soon as i'm done filming um this first impression review so yes i would totally recommend this lip duo to those who love a nice nude a nice bronze metallic and again, if you know you're someone who may not like the metallic lip, maybe try it as a, um, as a liquid eyeliner, you know, see if you can create a look on your eyes with it, you know, because it does give you some time to play with the liquid um, lipstick in these tubes. So maybe you could, you know, create a, um, an eye look with it, wear it on your eyes, create a winged eyeliner look with it. Um, but just want to make sure again that it's lip safe. Don't mean to repeat myself, but you know, I don't want to encourage anyone to go out there and do something else. Some they have some issues with their eyes or some kind of irritation to me and come back. Oh, old life beauty told me to do it. <laughs> no, I may have suggested you to do it, but I also warned you to look up the information or contact Juvia's place, you know. Um, Instagram her, maybe DM her if she accepts the DMs, contact customer service and see if these will be um, eye safe for you to use around your eyes. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my, my review, my lip swatch, my ladies, my gentlemen out there in the land. I still feel royal. I still feel luxurious. I feel fancy. I feel like my eye look is a peacock. A peacock that is waiting and the sun is just waiting. Today is very windy. I don't know if it's Santa Ana's, you know. But I, you know, I feel like it's very refreshing and I love the wind. 
I have always been a girl who loves nature and growing up I loved the wind and I remember before it would rain it gets super windy and doing it like the spring and the summer just feels so good to my skin and um, where I'm from like back in the south the scent just of rain like after rain the dirt smells everything just smells good and fresh and so um when I've been living out here in California it's different I don't really notice that I really miss that about the south I really miss the you know the natural the scent of the grass um you know the pine just the feelings of the seasons changing um accordingly to each year these are some things I really miss but there's some really cool things here in California too, the beaches and mountains. I've never seen beach, mountain, desert, all that within the same terrain. And like California is just seriously surrounded by mountains. Like everywhere you go there's a mountain. So I think that's really cool. And actually where I where I film this room and if I look towards my right, if I'm facing this way towards the mirror I can you know I can see mountains and stuff in the background so that's really cool so I know I'm going on a tangent and I'm going to wrap it up but yeah I am a nature girl I love I love nature and there's just something we all need to be a part of nature we all need to you know just get away from the day-to-day -day things that we do go out and do something in nature if you're someone who like to ride bikes if you like canoeing kayaking hiking you know swimming um doing photography um anything in nature riding motorbikes you know four wheelers you know must monster truck driving just do it safely but it, you know, or just go for a walk, you know, go walking in the mountains, walking along the beach, just walking along the forest, or somewhere, you know, somewhere fun, around a lake, you know, around the river. It really rejuvenates our spirit. It really gives a sense of calmness, a sense of peace, and it also really allows you to clear your head, you know, clear your head from a busy week or a long day and you know just be able to relax because we all need to be able to relax and feel good feel good feel good about every little thing that we do and every little thing that we give so with that I want to say thank you so 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 very much for tuning in and watching this video and I really appreciate you and I want the best for you. So with that, much blessings to you. Have a really beautiful and awesome day. And I will see you in my next video. So take care. Be safe out there. Peace.